I figured out the keys, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna think I'm playing, but I want you to pay very close attention to this video. Yo, if y'all new, subscribe to the channel, drop a like. I a lot happened yesterday, and some of it pissed me off. Everything started with the Keemstar tweet saying 2K Tuesday, question mark. So the whole 2K community was like, hold on, man, Keemstar, you're doing a 2K event all of a sudden? Everybody was curious. It got to the point where even Ronnie 2K replied saying, let's work. Not just Ronnie, yo. The official NBA 2K Twitter account even replied with the eye emoji, thinking emoji. So agent, why does this matter? Are y'all not paying attention? Just three, four days ago, I was on a stream with Ronnie 2K and one of the questions I asked him was about private parks. I said it would be dope, there's so much content ideas, we can have private events, we can do so much. And Ronnie told me that the developers can do it on their end, but we can't do it as measly NBA 2K players. So when agent asks, to do something cool for the community. I don't get no message saying let's work, but when Keemstar asks, it happens. Do you see what's happening? 2K doesn't listen to feedback from the community. You have to be outside the community for them to listen to you. I know some of y'all remember in 2K18 when JR Smith just put out some tweets and it resulted in a patch. Do y'all remember that? So I was sitting there on Discord. Part of me was a little bit excited because we need more events like this. This is dope. Y'all remember when Chris LSK was trying to do an event earlier in the beginning of 2K19 and that kind of fell apart? Even Ticino tried to do an event and that was quite a disaster just trying to get games. You know how great that event would have been if he had a private park to play in but keemstar gets the let's work keemstar gets to work with this so the conclusion i came to when i was in a call with a group of guys was why are we even trying why don't we just ask celebrities and people outside the community in different communities on youtube to give input for us on our behalf there's no point of agent zero asking for anything he doesn't get what he wants we need to let the rock we need to let and J.R. Smith and P.J. Connaughton ask for stuff because then we'll get what we want. Y'all see what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what I'm here to do today. I'm gonna pay celebrities to tell Ronnie 2K what I want to happen to NBA 2K20. Then the game will be perfect. Do, do you see the level of thinking? Do you see this sh <sighs> All right, guys, you guys have to help me choose who our um, surrogates are gonna be. <laughs> We're on this website where we can pay people to say things for us. So we need to start choosing some people. And because I don't wanna break my bank and I'm not a damn millionaire, I wanna put a budget on this. $2,000 budget. For $2,000, I will get some of these celebrities, hopefully, to say what I want them to say. Uh, first up, Michael Rappaport. He's been in plenty of my career stories. Ronnie's gonna take his input seriously. Hold on, we got Flavor Flav. <laughs> Book Michael Rappaport for $150, typically responds in two days. Look, he has a five-star rating. What's up, this is Michael Rappaport. I'm happy to be on Cameo, I'm excited. Hold on, that's an ad. He thought you could catch me with the ad, Michael. All right, okay, it's like that now, all right. Um, I wanna book this for myself, my name, is Agent Beamstar. Can you instruct? My instructions for Michael Rappaport are... Guys, this is tough. I don't even know where to start in this situation. There's so many things I want to do with the game. So what am I gonna change with the game first? All right, this is what we're starting with. Not the most pressing of issues, but it's a start. Can you make a video telling Ronnie 2K that the game chat audio on NBA 2K19 is horrible? If it improves for 2K20, it would make such a big difference. Here we have a Red Dead Redemption 2 character, Roger Clark. <laughs> All right, I have a brilliant idea for this one. <laughs> Hi, my friend Strauss stole $60 from me. Can you make a video telling him to be a little more honest when he's doing deals with me? I still really like him. I'm just a little annoyed. Maybe he'll listen to you. He loves Red Dead. <laughs> Hey, y'all know who I'm talking about? Hold on now. Agent Strauss Zelnick, ladies and gentlemen. This Oh, was that a real picture? Yo, that's a real photo. What the hell? <laughs> Yo. Hey, y'all remember the video where I talked about this guy, Strauss Zelnick, CEO of Take Two? So hopefully without knowing it, he's gonna send a message to the CEO of Take Two for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the microtransactions out the way, horrible game chat, what's next? Hmm, oh my God, Grant Cardone, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> For those who don't know Grant Cardone, he does like real estate advice videos on YouTube. So I'm like, 
I need some advice, Grant. Hi, Grant. Love your videos. So I started a video game publishing company about five years ago. Been having great success. But recently, I tried monetizing the game with microtransactions and got pushed back from my audience. Any advice on how to approach? <laughs> This not even anything to do with 2K20. This was just for me, all right? Oh, Kevin O'Leary, are you crazy? How can I pass that off? Why is it $1,000? God damn! Kevin, is your advice that valuable? Holy, man. I can't do that. Are you crazy? Oh my God. Look. <laughs> I'm on cameo. Uh, we'll talk later. This is the greatest thing I've ever decided to do in my life, guys. How have y'all not subscribed and dropped a like by now? Are you crazy? Hold on, bro. I already got an email. Yo, I already got a rejection. Roger Clark, the dude from Red Dead, wasn't able to complete my cameo request. Although Roger Clark tries to deliver 100% of his requests, sometimes certain requests are confusing, difficult, or not in line with the talent's image. <laughs> Man, I really wanted to send that message to Strauss, man. Say this guy, damn! They've thwarted my plans, ladies and gentlemen. Am I not brilliant? I'm gonna hit up Tony Hawk and ask him to ask Ronnie to make the skateboards and the hoverboards movable so you can do it within the neighborhood. Brilliant! I'm trying to think about how to expertly word this, man. <laughs> why, 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 why am I up at 9 a.m.? doing this. Hi, Tony. I love playing NBA 2K, and I recently spent my money on a skateboard, but I can't even ride it in the game. Can you tell Ronnie 2K to improve the skateboard physics so I can ride and do tricks while playing NBA 2K? That's not brilliant to y'all, man. <laughs> I'm changing the game one ask at a time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, you can ask Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I get a whole lot of requests for weddings, Birthdays, bar mitzvahs, Father's Day, and people want me to uh, send some messages. Dude, what do I even ask Kareem? I've been waiting for this moment my whole damn life. Hmm, what else do I want changed in the game? God damn, it's $500, bro, but it's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. When else are you gonna get a message from Kareem? All right, I think I worded this perfectly. Hi, Kareem, huge fan. I play a lot of NBA 2K, and I wanted to send a message to Ronnie 2K about something I wanted in the game for a long time. Can you ask Ronnie to add private parks so me and my friends can play together without distractions on 2K? What's the odds he says yes? Bow wow. <laughs> Yo, that wouldn't be perfect. Hold on, Bow wow. I got a couple things I need you to say to me. Huge fan. Apparently, I'm a huge fan of everybody today. <laughs> Hi, Bow wow. Huge fan. My little brother Ronnie has been slowly losing himself recently and he won't listen to family, AKA the community. I think a message from you would make his day. He's 13 years old and he's from San Francisco. Any words of inspiration for him, question mark? Ronnie, bro, you have to listen to the community, man. We're the people who make this lit, but you listen to everybody that's not us. How is that cool? So we have to set Ronnie straight, bro. That's not cool at all. This is the dumbest use of money. I've ever did. Actually, I have a $1,600 chair right there, so maybe the second dumbest piece of money. <laughs> Dwight Howard, ladies I'm and so gentlemen! To be on Cameo. So this is what I'm gonna do. Mmm, I got a good message for Dwight, man. Oh, I probably should be sending these to someone else, huh? To Ronnie from Beamstar. Why have I not been doing that the whole time? Hey, Dwight, huge fan. <laughs> I play a lot of NBA 2K and I love to play one-on-ones. I've always wanted to separate the 1v1 courts for big men and for guards. This way, everyone can have fun. Would you mind sending a message to Ronnie asking for more 1v1s? I'm pretty sure I spelled guards wrong. Let's double check. I did. I always spell it wrong, no matter how hard I try. I'm pretty sure I gave myself a budget to start this video and I just haven't paid attention to how much money I've been spending. But you know what, man? It's for the greater good. I'm trying to help the 2K community at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Oh, this is Tyrone! <laughs> First and foremost, you funny looking mother f I just want to say happy belated birthday, Billy, okay? And secondly, man, you need to keep your goddamn wife in check like a real man. <laughs> Yo, this is perfect. All right, what do I tell him? <laughs> 
All right, this one I'm sending to the 2K development team. I made up a fake name, Jonathan. Hi, Tyrone. The company I work at here is severely understaffed, so we have to work pretty long hours and it can get tiring. Would you mind giving the group here a little pick-me-up motivation to get us going? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. If I can't convince the CEOs at Take-Two to hire more people to make the game better and to cut into their profits just a tad bit to make the game exponentially bigger, then I have to motivate the people that are working there so they can work even harder so we can get the greatest games on Earth. Woo! Not gonna lie, $70, that's a bargain right there. You wanna talk to me personally? That'd be awesome. If you wanna talk to Hope in the building, Chase Z right now. <laughs> yeah, I love Aries Spears. We're going with Aries Spears, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and this is to Nate from Beamstar. If you guys missed the last 2K drama alert when Nate Robinson was threatening to hack and boot grinding, then you should definitely watch that. But I would like to send a message to Nate. <laughs> Hi, Aries, huge fan. My friend Nate sits at home all day threatening to hack people's Xbox accounts, knowing damn well he doesn't know how. I want to convince him to get out the house and have fun instead of wasting time arguing over Xbox. <laughs> ah, this is a great use of $75, I'll tell you that. All right, here we go. We're in the category for basketball players, so this one kind of hits close to home. Oh my God, Brian Scalabrini. Are you kidding me? What's up, Scalamaniac? What the hell do you call me? You call me a Scalamaniac? <laughs> what is that? Hi, Brian. I play a lot of NBA 2K. I was wondering if you could name some things you'd like to see improved in the new NBA 2K20. That's just a law, man. That's an easy one for Brian. I just want to know what kind of person Brian is inside. Okay, what else does Agent want fixed in NBA 2K20? So we worried about delaying, hacking, booting. Yeah, we got the private parks. We talked a little bit about microtransactions with Strauss Zelnick. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. That's disrespectful. I see Smush Parker. Are you kidding me? How can I pass that up for a bargain $68? Want to wish you a happy Father's Day. So, from one father and son to another father and son. Oh, come on. This is too personal. Now I feel bad about laughing. It kind of sucks that his whole career was defined by one thing that another player did to him. Okay, let's go for it. Hi, Smush. I love playing NBA 2K. I play it all the time. I was wondering if you could make a video asking Ronnie from NBA 2K to give point guards in the game more stamina so they're not running out of breath after three dribbles. They're NBA players after all. Can you guys subscribe and drop a like? Because I feel like I spent more money than I intended to spend on this video here. All right, Ryan Hollins, this is a bargain. $10, are you crazy? Of course I'm gonna say yeah. Hey Ryan, I play a lot of NBA 2K, but the game is pretty expensive. I'm only in high school, so I don't have much money. Unlike Davis, I didn't drop out of high school. Can you ask Ronnie to make the game a little more affordable in 2K20? I'll never stop playing, but maybe this will help. I have a feeling a lot of these are gonna be rejected. <laughs> Because I'll be surprised if Hollins didn't know Ronnie. So he's probably not going to send the message. All right, so I'm only doing a couple more. And one of them is the one and only legendary Dunker Spud Webb. Hey, Spud, huge fan. I play a lot of NBA 2K and I love playing with you in the game. But taller players are given such a huge advantage regardless of attributes. Can you tell Ronnie from NBA 2K to show love to smaller, quicker players? Huh? I think he would do that. I think he would do that one. I'm not even checking at this point how expensive some of these are, <laughs> which might be a problem. How expensive was that? What did I just spend? $100, okay. <laughs> Channing Fry is gonna be the last one, ladies and gentlemen. What do we ask for? We got one more thing. Hmm. Drink all the juice you could drink, big The juice? God, who's he talking to, a two-year-old? I'm not gonna lie, I could do this all day. If you guys let me, I could do this all day. Hey Channing, I play a lot of NBA 2K. One thing I always catch myself asking is for more content and events in game. Would you mind sending a message to Ronnie 2K asking for more content and events in NBA 2K20? Love to play with you, by the way. And now it capped out in characters, but I really wanted to say, your archetype is OP, my guy. Did you know that? Do you play the game? He probably does. Yo, why is Meta World Peace cost $1,000? God damn! Hey, what's up, Morgan? I want to congratulate you on acing the finals. Now, here you are. Some words of wisdom. I'm moving ahead in your life. There's no Toronto Raptor players on here. I guess they're too busy winning NBA championships. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to wait a couple days, and I'll see you guys when I get some responses. Day two. You good? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the one and only Davis. 
You think I'm gonna get lights from wearing this? Yo, no? I don't have lights. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, you actually left this in the frame. What is your problem? Have I told you what I'm up, what I've been up to the last couple days? Kinda, I think. Apparently, Ronnie 2K only responds to people outside the community. So I'm thinking to myself, what am I doing sitting here being in the community when I could just request the help of people outside? Genius! You see the logic? So I went on a website okay. and I hit up a bunch of celebrities. Most of them responded. A couple of them canceled. I haven't seen it yet neither. I've been trying my hardest not to look, bro. Like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar sent me a message. He you. did. And I, just for you? For me, man. Well, he, he sent the message to Ronnie, but. Hey, uh, did you get a chance to get Nate Robinson? You could have had Nate Robinson ask about like protecting like events and stuff, so they don't get. <laughs> yo, no, yeah, you think about that. No, but the you. problem I thought about that, but he would have my information. Oh, yeah. And I, he's he's booting people. Davis, I can't let him have my information. Are you out of your mind? That's super tough. Hold on. Oh. Mm, hold on, Davis. Wait a minute. So much Parker. Wasn't he compared to someone? I'm trying um, to... there was a there was a YouTuber that. Do you remember who that was? No, I actually don't. Was it? Nah, it wasn't him. I don't know. Let's move on. Probably not. Yeah, probably nobody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Ronnie? Uh, Smush Parker here. You know, uh, you probably know me best from playing with the uh, LA Lakers, but you know, I played for the Cavs, the Detroit Pistons, the Phoenix Suns, the Miami Heat, and the LA Clippers. Mm. But uh, you know, your boy Beamster wanted me to ask you, you know, because he plays a lot of NBA 2K. He wanted me to ask you to give the PGs in the game more stamina, so they're not running out of uh, breath after three dribbles. And me being as a being a point guard, I know. Stamina is a big thing, especially as a PG, you know, bringing a ball up the court, you know, against defenders, uh, playing full court. I know I played, I played defense full court, and I know my, my opponent, even myself, had to have a lot of stamina. And if you had, if you was losing breath after three dribbles, then, mm -hmm. you know, you were... That's a good point. You were all effed up in the game, part of my French, but, uh... <laughs> You know, give the PGs more uh, more stamina. Thank you so much. We need it. He yes, needs sir. it. NBA hey. 2K, make it real life. So much mm. problem. Job, I'm out. First of all, thank you so much. I'm so tired of my Listen, player man. getting getting having. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that's so genius. Like, I know, right? Come on, bro. It's all I right. have more stamina than my player. You have more stamina than your player. Fat, and I'm, I'm fat as. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Yeah, the cops so are me, bro. They're gonna just take that out of context. <laughs> Yo, they're, they're gonna clip it. Every reply. On every tweet, bro. It's yes. like, I'm fat as <laughs> fat, And I'm, I'm fat as <laughs> Listen, Ronnie, you didn't hear it from me. You heard it from Smush Parker he's himself. Not, he's not in the community. And so. he's in the NBA. You yeah. know, you, you might have known him from the one clip. I shouldn't say that, bro. He, no, he, he helped you guys. He helped me out, bro. We'll leave. That's disrespectful. Cut it out, we'll leave. You might, might want to put it in because it was funny. But just, no, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. It's Ronnie 2K. Mm. That's Brian Scalabrini. Ronnie 2K, what's up? It's your boy Scalabrini. It's been a while. It was that uh, tournament we played in a while back. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, you do a great job. No question. And, and, and with uh, all due respect, that's how two people start <laughs> something before you? you get a little bit of criticism. But Ronnie 2K, uh, Beamster or Beamstar, he wanted yes. to know if there's some things that I think that you should improve in the, 20, the 2K20 game. And I would just say, where the hell is my pink diamond? Ronnie mm. 2K, you told me a while back that you were gonna get me a pink diamond and you never got that for me. So maybe it's my fault for not following up, but my son just started playing. He's five now. Is he subscribed? And I mean, you know how hard it is for a human being to go downstairs, see your son playing you, and he keeps on saying there's something wrong with the game, dad. Why are you so freaking slow? I think there's a glitch. And I go, Yo, that's so and two, 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 Yo, that's so it's so sad. I didn't, so even, like, I didn't even think about that, bro. And the game's like, Dad, why are you so bad? Yeah, Dad, why are you a 60 overall? Oh my but it's God. like, dude, imagine. I didn't even think about that, bro. The kids play with their dad. This was supposed to be a softball. Like, what do you want to see improve? Because I just really wanted to get Brian Skelly. He truly wants a pink diamond. Ronnie, make it happen. Ronnie, 2K20. Bro. Oops. <laughs> 2K20, get this man Brian his pink diamond. I don't Yo, even know that's what that is. simple, man. Hold on. Let's see if he's anything else. To a certain extent, he's like happy that he's playing me on the mm. game, uh -huh. but that lasts like a quarter. And, he, and he, the guy doesn't make any shots, and he's slow, so and he gets beat, and he doesn't <laughs> rebound, he doesn't do any of those things. So, man to man here, right? I'm a father, I'm a role model in society. Some people have labeled me the GOAT, like can I get GOAT-like status I've on, said that. on uh, NBA 2K20? <clears throat> we know how it's been in the past, but I think it's time to change that, right? 
It's been 10 years, and I had that legendary speech after the NBA Finals you did about have it. in 10 years from now, they're not going to remember. Well, guess who remembers? You, Ronnie 2K. Uh -huh. And guess what happens when you remember? The rest of the guys out there, they remember too that I was garbage. If you could just make oh. me a little bit better, then uh, oh I, think the, I think the world would be okay with that. I don't know if the world would be sad I want to post if this. Brian Scalabrini has a 99 rating. I don't, who would be mad by that? He Everyone deserves likes it. me. I don't think people would get upset. You know, maybe DeMarcus Cousins, because you kind of did him wrong on 2K19. And I'm sure, based on the way that he played in the NBA Finals, you're probably going to give him an even worse rating than you did mm, before. So, he's always Ryan, shocked. 2K, the only thing I asked for 20, uh, 2K20 version would be... Give me my pink diamond, make me a 99, and make it so DeMarcus Cousins doesn't fall off as much as you want. Like he's no longer an all-star, and those are the, the things that we have to work on. Um, I guess another one would be, Devin Booker never wins a game. Why do you make him so good on the game? I mean, doesn't winning count for something? God anyway, dang, those bro. are my suggestions. Let me know. If you don't want to give the pink diamond out to everybody, at least get it back to me, all right? For my boy, Beamstar, listen. Beamstar, continue, continue having your faith in the White Mamba to you know one day eventually move uh, slower than the slow sky, in, or faster than the slow sky in the league, all right? So Ryan 2K, I'm out. Beamster, good luck. See ya. So the real question is, how do I post that, bro? Because I don't think he knew that this was going to be public, which yeah, I feel like is a weird thing because when you go on the website, it shows you the recent things he said. So oh, he that? knows that other people are going to see it at least, not just going to be me and Ronnie. The guy said his son plays with him and he's disappointed because his dad is mad slow. Hey, Ronnie, bro, he dropped a whole wish list video. I was like two minutes long. Do something for the guy. Drop a 99 or something, man. Yes. In fact, that's your, if you're not going to do it for it, do it now, man. What, what y'all waiting for? Now, Ronnie, let's go. God damn, man. <laughs> Next up is Dwight Howard. Mm. Yo, Ronnie from 2K. Listen, a lot of guys, they want to see more 1v1 on 2K. So could you please, please, please allow more one-on-one -on -one games because guys want to see me and Embiid and Carl Anthony Towns and all these great big men that are playing today, they want to see them play one-on-one -on -one, because it's the only time they'll be able to see it because it doesn't really happen in real life. So on 2K, that's where we make all our dreams happen. So Ronnie, if you ever see this message, please, 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 more 1v1s. We want the bigs to work. We want the guards to work. We want to play one-on-one. -on -one. We want to eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Filet, yeah. Okay, okay Dwight. You wanna fillet somebody, yeah. <laughs> but I need you, Ronnie, to get some more 1v1s, man. Please, please, people asking me. And I ain't played 2K in a while, but I need some more 1v1s so I can get out there and show my skills. Okay. Anyway, Ronnie, thank you in advance. Holla at your boy. Peace and love. So I, I ran out of characters, but I tried to tell him to 1v1. divide the 1v1s for guards and big men. Well, he did say that then. But he did, he did say yeah, that. Yeah, he did say, he said the guards and the, and the bigs. I was kind of nervous because he kept talking about Post him and Embiid. I was like, <laughs> no, please stop, honey. Don't do that. <laughs> We're about to make a, a post score on <laughs> yeah. You didn't hear it from me, bro. You heard it from Dwight Howard. Yeah, I mean, this is the most fun I've had making a video probably in a very long time. Oh, I really, really enjoyed this, bro. Um, this is Tyrone. you probably seen him on Instagram or something like that. I'm Tyrone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm Tyrone. And shout out to the 2K development team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I heard you motherfuckers are understaffed. <laughs> well, fuck all that. <laughs> it's time to get some work done. Ain't nobody want a bunch of people around any way, man. So you got to work with what you got, okay? <laughs> I work with what I got. And I pull my dick out this whole goddamn room and get dark. Yo, Excuse yo, my French. Yo! Wait a minute! What the heck? What the heck? Yo! Oh. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? <laughs> yo, he's actually crying, bro. Look at his look at his look at his eyes, bro. <sighs> oh, yo, my abs are in pain. You know when you do crunches a little too much? <laughs> This man swore from laughing, bro. But you gotta work what you got. You might not be hung like that, man. Okay? You might have not been blessed below the waist, but I am. Okay? I and I'm sorry I got sidetracked and But you gotta work with what you got. So if it's less people, that's fine. Put your brains together. Y'all got brains, don't you? And use them. Next thing you know, they got all these new motherfuckers coming in. And guess who losing their damn job? Your ass. Mm. So it better be a big old 
all that, man. Okay? And be strong in your excuses. That's better, man. Get the work done early, man. You work hard and you play harder or something like that. You know what the got I mean, man. So get your asses together, put your big boy pants on, and get to work. Okay? And fuck all that understaffed shit. That was the greatest thing ever. That was the greatest life. thing ever. First things first, <laughs> anyone from the development team Yo. is lobbing you a block after this video. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna try to see people's tweets and be like, who tweeted? And you're not gonna be able to see anything. I just told him that I work for the 2K development staff and we're severely understaffed and we just need to be motivated a little bit. Genius, genius, genius. That was the greatest use of money I think I've ever used. And he motivated the heck out of it. Or, Dead ass, bro. Or they're gonna block you, something like that. Some, one of the two is about to happen. Exactly. They're either gonna be real motivated or I'm not gonna talk to them ever again, one of the two. Yeah. There's a few more, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the next one. This is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Hey, it's a Kareem. legend. Yeah. Hey, Ronnie 2K. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar here. One of my NBA 2K fans, Beamstar, wants private parks so he can play against his boys without being distracted by NBA 2K. Get with it. Take care. Now, if you if you don't listen to Kareem, a legend, he's one of the greatest of all time. True, this is true. And you don't listen to him? Then the game doesn't stand a chance. At the private parks, Ronnie. See how, see, you see this right here, man, okay. Ronnie? We got legends in the game. Legends. Telling you what they like to see done. My dad said he saw Kareem before at a mosque. And really? he said his shoes were like so massive, you knew it was an NBA player in the mosque. <laughs> Cause he has to take off your shoes first. And oh, it was a guy with like, like clown size shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you thought somebody was like this in his shoes? Yeah, yeah, so he's like, that must be an NBA player. Bro, he's a comedian. I think I see the title, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all see it and you probably know what's gonna happen. You're gonna yo, get the point of it, all right. Yo. Yo, Nate, your man Beamster wanted me to holler at you. Listen, man, stop trying to hack into other people's Xboxes. He tells me you don't even have the Mission Impossible skills to pull this off. I don't know how old you are, man, but come on, dog. There's a whole world out there of to do. And I get the sense that you're young. Because only a young muff would even think of some stupid like that and run the risk of going to jail and can't get no You're going to miss out on some box because you try to break into an Xbox. Choose your box wisely. Get the pussy. Beamster is telling me to tell this to you, Nate. You do like pussy, don't you? Jake, you wanna go to jail or you wanna go home? Oh my god. Yo, what is your problem? <laughs> yeah, <Yo>, Nate Robinson. <laughs> yo. So yo, he, he went mad hard. Like he went he crazy went, on he him. He went there. super hard. I might just cause drama between Ari Spears and Nate Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know he was talking about an NBA player. Oh my god. All I told him to do was to tell Nate to go outside more and to stop hacking people's Xboxes, or at least threatening to do it. I don't think there'll be a video I ever record that beats this. I, don't, I think this is my peak right here. It's all, it's all, it's all downhill it's, I'm not gonna get better than this, man. This is the best right here. Yo, Ronnie2k. It's your boy Ryan Hollins here, bro. Mm -hmm. My dog. You know I done done mocap, a lot of stuff. Oh, you always okay. got my back. But my boy Beamstar has a message for you, dog. And he's a big 2K gamer. Huge. And, and, and Beamstar, this is my dude. This is my dude. Mm -hmm. We want to see if 2K20 can be a little cheaper, man. The game makes a lot of money off of VC and people buying shoes and stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. But this dude is a gamer. He loves the game like me, you, like everybody. He's not going to stop uh, Never. playing the game. Maybe there can be a rewards program for a guy or someone who Perhaps gets the game good. consecutive years in a row. Mm. I don't know, man. This dude is hes the bomb. He's a big time gamer. He's my guy. He's your guy. He's our guy. We both know. Maybe 2K yeah. could be a little cheaper, Ronnie. I'm just saying, dog. I'm just saying, dog. And maybe if you can't make that call, call somebody who can make the call, man. Mm. Shout out, Beamstar. Erd. Ryan came with the message. He came. I told him about the microtransactions. I said, can you ask Ronnie to make it a little bit cheaper? And he delivered. Indeed. And listen, he's an analyst now. You probably seen him on TV, right? You probably seen him in the NBA hooping, putting up buckets. What why you, why you what laughing, you, bro? Why are you, you, why you, why you no, laughing, bro? You why you, you laughing? Me. You, you laughing really, right there. Stop. No, why no, you laughing? I'm, I'm out of here, bro. You're trying to me I think I, I'm, I think I'm gonna have a very big impact on 2K20. I, I agree. And and it took me realizing, because remember when we were in LA and I told you like I lost hope. I don't matter. Through creative thinking, I can have an impact on the game. It just took a couple thousand dollars on a website and the greatest time of my life. Uh, Davis, thank you so much <clears> for Hey, uh, <clears throat> you don't even have a choice on this one. You have to drop a like. 
subscribe to the channel, and click one of the four videos. Why <laughs> are you like, you look a little brother just trying to, is he done?